Hello, messieurs and madames. Elton here, aka Retro Old Cool in the east end of Montreal. Not particularly exactly sure what borough I'm in, quite frankly. I'm not that far from where I live, Nostalaga. I'm actually east of where I live. That truck sounded good. Yeah, and you can't see right over there, but at that light, Highway 15 is below there. Yeah. The Emperor is a Jaguar at a La Belle Provence restaurant. It's a fucking scrap right on cue. A mini at a gas station. That's what people used to say here in Quebec. They used to say gas. You call it gas. But the way it's gas, we need gas. There's a nice looking tourist there. Still can't believe Ford put the axe on that. That's mind boggling. I mean, don't you put throw the axe on something and call it quits when it doesn't sell? It's not like they weren't selling any, you know? But no, they want to focus only on pickups, practically, and Mustangs. Yeah. This guy's a hardcore fucking U-Haul dealer. Shit, I've never seen a fucking garage gas station that had so many U-Hauls to rent out. Mighty impressive. Well, as the title says, yes, yes, uh, we are in Hochelaga Boulevard. Uh, I think I'm still in Hochelaga. Hochelaga Mercier, I think, at this point. Yeah. And I just walked all the way down. Oh boy, I'm gonna catch you. Yeah, floor that mother. I got you, man. Got you speeding that challenger. Lawbreaker. Whatever, fuck. For all I know, it could have been Nick Panaritas, fuck, you know? He has a white challenger. But anyway, uh, whatever. Yeah, right. That guy's always working, fuck. What are we today? Uh, what's the date today? Tuesday. Dull weather for Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. I'm just beginning to see. I got to find out why. I might have filmed a video here actually a while back, but it was in the winter. Of course, I filmed a few more videos closer to where I live, but like I said, we're much more east now. Now we're coming up to, at that light, is Honore Bogna. So you're going to see a lot of. Uh, Buses. Look at this going on over here. Oh no, a Ford getting towed. You don't say. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I have not filmed an ambulance responding in over a week. Now I know I'm taking it thing more slowly since I've got this stupid virus. I think still with the thing with my heart and all this crap. Yeah, I can't wait to see what's next. First the hernia operation last year. Then this. What else is going on? Oh yeah, and. Uh, of course, I had the melanoma fucking move my head. Luckily for me, it wasn't malignant. You know. Yeah. Oh, I Bruxelles. And Bruxelles is French for what? Brussels. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I floated down with that last street there. Le Pailleur, I think it was. Looking for some oldies, you know. I did see a uh, 97 or 98 Buick LeSabre go by and actually maybe I should have filmed it because it was at a shopping center earlier and um, you know unfortunately those were not the best years for quality for GM so uh, there's not a ton of these left here in the Northeast you know like seriously they're really rare already and we're talking about like 20 years 21 years old. It's supposed to rain today chance of rain I don't know 30 percent that's why I'm uh, rocking the jacket there. Some chick the other day I met at the bus stop. She was in love with my jacket. I said, "Man, it wasn't even. I didn't even buy it. It was my, uh, it was my my brother, my friend who gave it to me. Toyota. That shouldn't even be broken down. I thought it was a Ford for Christ's sake. Ah, uh, the good old fucking crew cab, dually. That's what I like. You know, Mr. Police man over there." And uh, we are at, uh, let's see here, the Rebogra. On the Rebogra. You know, it's funny, my uh, plans often change, eh? Because originally I was actually going to take maybe the 189 or 186 or something and go towards, uh, I don't know, Notre Dame Street down there or fucking. Go do train spotting near Madian. But the last time I went to Madian Street, I didn't see any. Uh, oh, I didn't see any trains. Anyway, look at that old International. They're still kicking. I won't show it too much since those guys are there. Yeah. 
these guys are often parked on the, under the meet the Metropolitan and uh, uh, Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent, ah. That's a nice combo. Old sign there, eh? Oh, tabarnak, look at that. Another awesome Challenger. That's a demon on top of that. Whoa, baby. That's awesome. Of course, my neighbor's got one, which is fucking weird as hell. Enjoy that. Enjoy that, son of a bitch. Because you know what's coming, eh, in a couple of months. The big W. Oh, fuck. Did I just see an old car? What is that? Did I just see a Maverick or something? Or was I hallucinating again? And it's probably a 1990s Honda Accord or something. Yeah, I was right. 1990s Honda Accord. <laughs> what did I say? I thought it was a Maverick. Oh, my God. Oh, yo, yo, yo. What's all this here? Why is all this closed off here, eh? Oh, I got to tell you guys what I filmed earlier, which was really weird. When I was next to Anne Beaugrand Metro Station on Sherbrooke, I see these two uh, police minivans, right? They're usually supervisors. And um, then I noticed... Ooh, look at that. Fancy. Then I noticed this cube truck behind it. You know, it's got the bars, the uh, bars underneath the... Uh, it had the bars, like, right underneath the box, you know, between the wheels, you know, so no kids don't get uh, rolled underneath the fucking truck and crushed by it. And I said to myself, I bet you a hundred bucks that's a police, Montreal MUC, Montreal Urban Community Police Department truck. Big, long cube truck. And it was, and I filmed it, and it had a police court or escort, and there was another one behind it. And I'm like, thinking, well, what the fuck? Was it radioactive waste in there? Is it cannabis? What the hell is in that truck, in those two trucks, man? Somebody tell me. Mr. Star, I'm looking at you, man. Virtually. Anyway, that was uh, definitely interesting. Cool looking mural over here coming up. This area needs more murals like that, you know? It's right on, man. Hmm, neat. Where did I see something like that the other day? On Derouan Street, I think it was? Perhaps? It's nice, this part of this street, actually. It's nicer than where I live. Look at this nice tree line here and the medium and everything. It's very nice. Oh, man, I'm going to have to uh, take a break, I think, after this, though, because uh, or take a bus or sit or something, because, uh, again, I'm not in top shape, unfortunately. Uh, this fucking virus, whatever it is, got me good, let me tell you. Oh my god damn. I mean, to actually infect my the wall of my heart? Never heard of such a thing. That's how certain strains are. It's, they're very strong. It's a good thing I got a good immune system. I'd be more fucked, you know? Here comes the scrap. Yeah, I walked here one summer. I don't think I filmed it. I know. I think there's a library coming up. Looks like a good place for some responses. So, like I said, I haven't gotten a lot of that lately. Nope, 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 nope. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember seeing you downtown. Yeah, so that truck downtown, followed by the non scrap. Yeah, downtown on a side street off St. Catherine there. Yeah, another nice mirror. Look at this. This is nice. That's pretty good. I can't argue with that, eh? Look, it's got some weird, weird, funky, I don't know, artwork. Like, there's this library there. I think I wanted to film the elevator and it was broken or something. City of Montreal trucks, Ville de Montréal. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna take advantage of those benches there and sit here for a moment. Take a break. Ah, taking a break over here on this nice, comfortable bench. I figured I'd. Uh, Show you this good looking Land Rover. God damn, they look cool though, eh? With that kind of a Vista roof. Probably the best thing about those 
were the V8s because they were originally made by the Americans, by GM. Too bad they were fucking shite, those things, though. But people love them, you know? Now I'm gonna go in the library behind me and go rock a piss. Well, I think that was a first. I went in the uh, library and went to rock a piss, drink some water. I figured I'll go film that elevator that I wanted to film last year that was broken. I remember that. In this library here on Oshalaga. And you know what? I pressed the button, pressed it again, never came. Still broken. Never fixed it. Like, wow. I mean, uh, whatever. It's, like I said, it's a first. It's a first. That looks like a police van. Pat panic, I'm gonna wait like a little. On va checker des chars là. On va checker des vieux chars là. Kind of cool. I was just saying in French, we're gonna check for some old cars there. Hey, Uncle Tony. Uncle Tony drove one of those, a nitro. It was fucking hilarious. This channel I'm subscribed to called Uncle Tony's Garage. The guy's a right for The guy's so old school, every day he drives an old car. He's got a fucking Valiant, he's got a uh, Belvedere, whatever. And then, uh, <laughs> He goes to drive his son's nitro and the car wouldn't stop beeping, you know, and, and his wife, uh, he says to his wife, he says, why does this car keep beeping at me? He says, uh, she says, uh, she says, tell you to put your seatbelt on. He says, why don't you tell the car to mind its own fucking business? What an eyesore, eh? It's amazing it hasn't been knocked down. Maybe it's being used for something. Anything interesting at this garage here? Fix Auto Hoshalaga Maisonneuve. So this is still Hoshalaga. Looks like they got their fucking work cut out for them. Of all these colorless cars! Excuse me, colorless cars. Jesus, fuck. I don't know. I'm starting to think sometimes when it comes to cars, the times are changing, but not enough, you know? Ooh, that infinity sounds kind of good. I've really lost track how long I've been filming this, but... It doesn't matter, I got two batteries. It's all good, it's all good. Anything interesting here? Nothing! Boring! Fucking cars! Boring! More boring cars! All of them! Fucking plata mort, as they say. Boring. Where's the oldies at? There's nothing. The only thing that was interesting I saw go by was that fucking Land Rover. Uh, Discovery or whatever it is. And that Jaguar there. I feel like a car thief. I'm looking like I have a shopping list of cars I have to steal or something, you know? Like in Gone in 60 seconds. You know? Scrap. Hybrid scrap. Oh, by the way, incidentally, those of you who are bus enthusiasts, you know one of the things I fucking hate about these buses, I never brought it up actually, I was on one of them yesterday, is the fact that when you want to get off and you want to ring the bell, you don't ring the bell anymore. You gotta find a fucking button, you know? And you're like, where's the fucking button, man? You know, like you're looking on the pole and here and there, there's no button, there's no fucking cord. What the hell was wrong with pulling a cord to ring for your stop? Oh no, that's not interesting. That's not interesting, and not only that, it pro I guarantee you it makes the fucking uh, uh, buses cost even more to do that. That's an interesting looking rig, he's got a bunch of tires there, and... Ah, oh, fucking stupid world we live in. Stupid fuck. I know what my brother said, you know, he said, he said, why you get mad about things you can't change? I know, I know, I think I have to remember that more, it's just frustrating. Because it's stupid, that's why. You know, fucking stupid. <sighs> Even from here, when I was zooming in, I can see there's nothing particularly interesting down whatever street that is. Man, look at that truck. It's like a ramp truck almost, like, it looks like for an airport, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, wait a minute. That's the bus I need to take, the 189. Fuck, exactly goes this way. Perfect. That's it. Maybe I'll film another block or two, and then I'm going to see if I can take that bus. Right on. The white dove in the golden cage in the rain. Oh no, on a winter's day in the rain. Look at this fucking sun, bitch. Holy Jesus Christ almighty. That's some rig, all right. Wow, 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 wow. I like it. 
What bird must fly, or she must die, or she will die. The old depener there with the old coke sign. Cool stuff, eh? Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Is that an old van I see? Uh, old fucking ram, maybe 1990s or something. What's that? Mazda. Mazda with a shit exhaust. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice looking doggies. Yeah. Oh, okay, I admit it. Uh, when I was back on Sherbrooke, I went to the uh, Depener, got myself a, one of these big rice crispy squares. It's probably the worst thing I could get. It's so not good for health. So not good for your health, but eh, whatever. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, since I'm tired, I'm only gonna film this until the, not this light, I think, yeah, that next light over there, maybe. Short and sweet, you know, so I can, uh, I don't know, you know when you're fucking out of it and you're out of shape and you're tired when you're, just talking is 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 a, a trivial and i heard a siren just now so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna take a look here there's a guy with an i love new york sweater there behind me man i remember when i went to new york when i was a kid my parents bought me one of those t-shirts that's how long they've been making those shirts and sweaters you know look at this wow that's rare a sob suv that's fucking weird man that is fucking rare. I don't even care what it's called, you know, but still, it's it's kind of noteworthy, you know, even though, what, the company is owned by Tata or Ford or whatever, you know. Auto Ram. Okay, here at La Rue Mercier. I feel a few raindrops. Where's that ambulance I just heard or something? I don't hear no nothing. Man. Nothing. Nothing. Let's take a zoom down this street here. I kind of like that navigator. You know, when those came out in 98, I actually did like them a lot. I even did a drawing of one full color. Just like in the magazine, it was red. Of course, being in Canada, I never saw a red one, though, you know. The Americans don't realize that although we may have the same products as you, cars, for example, they're not necessarily coming in the same colors, eh? So. The burr's old bar over there. What does it say here? Service day de l'emploi de l'Est. And there's me. Hello, me. Imagine somebody came out and said, Hey, what are you filming for? What do you fucking care? You don't even fucking see. Nobody can see you. They see me, for Christ's sake. It's like fucking glass in a, in a freaking police station in an interrogation room. It's a mirror. You know? Oof, man, I'm pooped. Yeah, I'd like to find a nice bench somewhere. You know? Bet you don't see too many people doing what I'm doing around here, eh? Well, I'm glamorizing, even though it's, uh, frankly, quite a ghetto, nevertheless, you know. Well, in terms of Canadian, you know, you know. Good-looking Charger there, nice-looking, uh, what is it? It's a Daytona? Is that original? I don't know. Eh. Okay, guys, so, uh, I'm gonna stop this here and, uh, see if I can go take that bus there I was talking about. Yeah, all right, so, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if not, well, uh, you know. As we say in English, hey, tough cookies, huh? Or as my dad used to say, tough cookies. And uh, that's it. Ending it at uh, Oshalaga and, uh, well, you know, Le Brun. Le Brun, which is the brown. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and there's that CN track over there. Which is, like, fucking not even used anymore, probably. I'd like to know if it is or isn't. Anyway, bye!